Once I get an approval, then I'll strip off the stereo bus compression. I'll use it for the approval and then I'll take it right off before I send it to mastering. Talk to me about your relationship I, with mastering. I just don't want them to screw it up. When I send them without processing, without stereo bus processing, I also send them the reference, the, the final approved mix with the processing so that they can have a reference. This is what the client approved. Please, if you're gonna do anything, make it sound a little better than that. If you're gonna do anything, just don't make it sound worse. What do you think um, the job of a mastering engineer is? The title is engineer. Does that mean that they're being creative with the, what they do? That's a hard question to answer. Use the word creative. I think you have to tread gently with that. Sometimes creativity in mastering, to me, may be the gentle addition of color that might come, in, in some cases, uh, fairly transparent transformers, very rarely tape sort of treatments or something like that can benefit a mix. Mm -hmm. but only a little bit, and if you go too far, you change a lot about the way a mix is put together. You can change the balance and you can change the tone.